Hi, we're the other favorites. We're from Brooklyn, New York. And we've spent the last week in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, working on our newest record with blue microphones. During this project, we got to work extensively with the bottle rocket microphone and the interchangeable capsule system. It was our first time working with it, but it was incredibly convenient to be able to just audition different flavors of a microphone on the fly and quickly find the one that best suited the particular mood of the song that we were working on. Yeah, when, when you're in the studio, you don't want to spend hours and hours and hours setting stuff up, realizing it doesn't sound the way you want, breaking it down. Um, and being able to just kind of pop the capsule off, try a new one, and get a flavor that suited the particular instrument we were working on really kind of helps streamline the creative process. Earlier in our recording process, we decided to use the, uh, the Dragonfly as a stereo pair of overheads, uh, and it was incredibly well suited for that. It was, uh, it was relatively neutral, but just treated the cymbals in a way that didn't really require any EQ at all. Uh, and we were pleasantly surprised later in the week when we tried putting the same microphone on um, a fiddle and then a mandolin, and. Uh, didn't even have to really mess with placement in order to find uh, a tone that even the fiddle player was happy with, which uh, can sometimes be challenging. Yeah, in, my, in my experience recording mandolin and fiddle, it's difficult to sometimes use a condenser microphone and not have some of like the scratchy, squeaky sounds come to the forefront. Uh, but the Dragonfly just sounded nice and lush and rich, just sort of the way we were hoping it would. One of the things we were most impressed with was the Kiwi as the room mic for our drum setup. Um, when we turned all the other mics down in the mix and just had the Kiwi going, it was big and full and rock and roll, uh, and we really didn't have to do much to make that alone sound like the drum sound we wanted. Josh and I are a little bit obsessed with that late 70s, super dry, dead, low tune drum sound. Um, and for the toms, we had them tuned really low with the bottom heads off and the tea towels on them. So we wanted to record them with something that wouldn't make that sound even darker um, and get that kind of buried in the mix. So we used the Hummingbirds uh, condensers on the toms, and that really sort of brought out the high end of the attack enough to have them stand out, but really captured the low end really nicely as well. We had a mid-sized drum setup, but even with a handful of cymbals, you know, it can sometimes get difficult to position microphones. Uh, but we had the uh, we had the hummingbirds clipped onto the edge of the toms, and then we had another one um, right in between a crash cymbal and a hi hat in a position that would not really have been possible with an ordinary pencil condenser, uh, but was incredibly convenient. The album we are working on extensively features upright bass, and our bassist uh, wanted to do a combination of pizzicato and arco bass, uh, which can sometimes be a challenge, uh, so we used two different microphones to achieve that sound setup. Uh, we had the mouse sort of close up on the body near one of the F-holes, uh, and we had a bottle rocket with a B1, uh, a little bit further back and up toward the neck. Sort of blending the mouse end for those pizzicato moments really helped us get that nice big body that the upright bass has, uh, and then blending in the B1 a little bit more for the Arco, the Bode stuff, kind of caught the nice sort of, um, so I guess the high end of the instrument. The, yeah, the, the articulation more. of the bow, right. the nice, the rosiny sound, and uh, just having those two that we can then blend in at various uh, ratios is, is perfect for every song. During the recording process, we got to take a little bit of a break and play a live show, and uh, we use Encore 200s as our vocal microphones, which are familiar territory for us because when we run our own sound, uh, when we're doing smaller shows, we have a pair of Encores that we use in our personal collection. Uh, they're terrific mics that uh, don't have a ton of bass build up in the proximity effect. They just sound EQ'd and ready to go right away and uh, they're something that we can count on every time. They sound killer on the snare too, so mm -hmm. you get to hear a little bit of that on the record. So we'd like to give a huge thanks to Blue for supplying us with this incredible locker of microphones and uh, helping us take this record to a level that we never would have been able to get it to without them. You can find us on YouTube and you can find us on Facebook. We are the other favorites and we can't wait to share our new music with you.